Hey guys, guys, check this out. What is it? Is someone in? Um, I, I just want to offer an update at our last business meeting before the holiday break. I proposed a, a referral around um, uh, ways to create additional sanctions on, on militia groups. Um, I spent most of the break in conversation with several of my council colleagues, with community members and talking to consultants. And while I want the city to create laws and policies that give law enforcement the tools and instructions to intervene and disperse gatherings of paramilitary groups before their acts of violence, the, the gang sort of ordinances that I looked at raised concerns from many community members that so long as we have an, uh, uh, a biased justice system, the consequences are more likely, the enhanced consequences are more likely to fall on social justice protesters than on those uh, white supremacist paramilitary sorts of groups that we're trying to intervene with. So I'm continuing to work with colleagues to develop a referral to try to address this issue. We absolutely, I think, both want to make a stand and want to have something that's impactful to say that that's not okay, it's not welcome in our community. Um, but the particular avenue I was pursuing doesn't seem like the right path. Um, so, you know, we've, we've heard calls from the community. I might have already just said this. That, and maybe, I didn't, we, you know, we've, we've had community calls to, to demand that, that we make a demand as council that our police department write citations or weapons charges for unauthorized militia gatherings, um, for overstepping the bounds of private security. And I, frankly, I, I don't think it's within council's purview to demand that particular staff or departments take particular actions. So I, I think in terms of policies, in terms of budget, and in terms of transparency and, and daylighting information, those are all good things that we can do as council. And I, I want us to continue. And I, I know that this is all part and parcel of larger overlapping efforts that we have running, but I, I just wanted to, to come to say, I'm still very eager in, in having a way that the city intervenes when groups of white supremacists paramilitaries gather in our city, uh, but the avenue I was pursuing, I, I don't think was wise and we'll, we'll, we'll keep working on it. I do want to um, highlight a bill that's in the Senate right now around uh, banning uh, open carry firearms at the state capitol and in public demonstrations. Um, uh, we talked about this in our legislative uh, meeting with the 22nd delegation, um, and I would like to see us bringing something forward that we can sign on to as the Olympia City Council uh, in support of that. Um, and I'm, I'm curious about what those next steps are. Yeah, thank you. I, I, all, thanks for all of that, Councilor Madrone. But on the uh, open carry bill, I just want to throw out, you know, in, in my experience, you know, it's in our agenda. So let's make sure one or more of us testify at the hearings. And then if you if the advocacy groups think that, a, you know, either a, a, if it works in the timing of Tuesdays to do a proclamation or resolution, uh, we could do that. And then if it doesn't work in the timing, uh, you know, it's I think it's more than reasonable for the mayor and city manager to, co to, to put a letter together to, to support that policy, given the conversations we've already had publicly. So that's my take on it. And I'd be happy to help testify if, if, if you're not available, but it, it seems like you've got that on your mind. So. <laughs> so keep us in the loop or Susan, maybe you and Deborah can let us know so we can make sure we're on top of that one. Absolutely. Happy to write a letter too. Councilmember Madrone brought up the Senate bill around open carrying at protests. I just wanted to raise a concern that I've heard to hopefully make that bill stronger. And so if we are advocating on behalf of this bill as a city at some point in the future, just knowing that the geographic limitation of, of what it means to carry at a protest. Um, and if, and if you know, we're thinking of people on the same block or across the street, and if that's all of a sudden banned, there's a concern, well, is that going to lead to rooftop um, occupations with armed? And we already actually had 
um, a, a business, the, um, the T Brothers Liquor Store and Glacier Gun Club had um, armed people on their roof this summer while there were protests. So that's something that we would want to be careful about supporting unintended consequences of a geographic, of a strict geographic delineation in a bill like that. Um, and the other, and so that's what I wanted to say on that, that bill and that matter. And um, thank you all for being here um, and we'll talk to you all soon.